हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज लेक्चर फोर्टी सिक्स बेस्ड ऑन थर्ड यूनिट फॉर द सब्जेक्ट सेंसर एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके सो फर्स्ट वन इज द केस स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो एज वी नो इन लैब व्यू दे आर सो मैनी स्ट्रक्चर अवेलेबल एज सेम एज अवेलेबल इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग सो आई थिंक you have idea about the c programming so we have same process over here okay but the change is only you have to draw the schematic your algorithm in the schematic uh, view okay so let us start with some uh, uh, concept about this case structure okay so if i talk about this case structure in lab view case structure allow specific programming part to run depending on the value of variable okay so means you have insert the value of the variable and whenever this value of variable okay and you put some condition so this whenever this condition is applicable uh, you will get uh, output okay or uh, particular specific program which you have Uh, uh design for this structure case okay that will run and after that that will stop and display the output okay so that same thing is mentioned over here case structure can be found in lab view in structure palche so that is a specific uh, portion is given for defining the structure case or case structure in lab view okay so you can find out over there what you have to draw to case one for true value and other for false value okay so as i told you previously that whenever this true value is valid you will get the output and whenever and display the output you will get the output also you can read easily read out the what is the comment on this section okay and whenever this value it will stop the uh, program and display the your output they can be selected from the menu to menu of case structure in lab view okay so you no need to write everything or you can select the value of variable and you can select this is a true uh, when it is true it will run your uh, program and it will give you the output here uh, i am taking one example okay so example is to calculate log of number as long as is defined for the only positive values okay so we put the condition whenever if you are taking the for example if you are taking x and whenever this x value is positive it will give you the log value of the this x at the output or and you can easily read out the value of the output and also you can plot the uh, value this uh, log x value in the form of plot okay so let here one is schematic diagram is shown over there okay what you have to do you have taken this x which is variable okay and compare it with the greater than 0 so you put the condition over here so the whenever is x is going and here is 0 is going so these two whenever this x is greater than this zero okay so it will activate your the schematic gate okay you can say in the form of if uh, you can take the example as a logic okay so whenever these two condition it will give you the logic one means it will uh, configure that that your program is ready or your program whatever your value is applying is okay with the particular program okay so you can select over here true and false value whether this is true or not okay so whenever this is true means whenever this x value is greater than 0 means positive value it will connected in this form so here you will get the log value you can also plot over there and you can read it out at this terminal okay and also here is one uh, uh, section is available okay for reading out the your 
display ok. So, here is you are getting the remarks that valid value of x k ok. So, the whatever is value is you are applying is ok or not according to your condition it is valid or not. So, if you are getting the false value, so again it will compare over there eh? okay. and if you found out oh, that uh, this, this value is not valid. Okay. So, you can see it, is, it will be display and there will be no connection between these two okay. so, means so you are not getting any value for this particular section output section. So, here there is uh, uh, there, there is no, uh, I mean, uh, you are not getting any value over there, so no display over there. Okay, so there is no value is app, uh, showing over there. Okay, so not applicable or anything you want to read it, you can read it out. Okay, so this is just one example. Okay, for this structure case. Okay, so same, but uh, whatever I told you, there is written over here. So, run the program in lab view and put the value of x first a positive value in front panel means yeah, yeah, they, he is talking about this function okay. and then negative value in front of this panel. So, here you are taking this negative value over here. Okay. Make sure you run a valid value okay. that, that should be a valid value. Then stop front panel of lab view done automatically no need to manually you have to do manually okay whenever the comparison has been done it is automatically show the true value and false with the value and then change the value in front panel of lab view and then again run the program to observe the both the cases so first time you have to take the positive value and second time you have to the take the negative value and you will see the comparison means comparison not comparison what we are getting at the this output terminal ok. So, this is a small uh, idea about the your structure case how we are going to put a structure case in lab view ok. So, the concept is uh, same which uh, I think you, you guys learned about the in the section of C ok. So, again you can also uh, store this uh, particular case okay, and give a particular name means whenever you have suppose a, a large uh, uh, heavy program and you want to use this uh, structure case in a particular uh, this uh, heavy program. So, you can store this uh, structure case so for given a particular name and you can recall it. Okay. So, no need to draw the again and again. So, same thing I think uh, you guys uh, you do in the case of the C programming also. Okay. So, this is all about a small introduction about the structure case. Okay. Thank you students.